Heaven, before you start telling your friends, Uguti Tavaka has got one weave. No, I don't have one weave. This weave is the only one that makes me look like a superstar. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your favorite, your wonderful lady, lady to you guys. You go winter, that's why we're wearing polo next. So yeah, I'm not opposing the winter. I'm not opposing the weather, but it's really, really cold. Anyway, today it's a story, story time. Oh, by the way, don't forget to like, to subscribe and to comment. Yes, don't forget to like, to subscribe and to comment. And thank you for the love. Thank you for the, thank you for everything. Hopefully January has been treating you well. Hopefully you have been having a good time, a time of your life. Yes, I know that there are 60 days in january but anyway we move so today it's actually a story story time um i promised that this year i'm going to be delivering up close and personal um story times so today is actually the first first story, story story time of 2023 okay and this is how the story time goes about a uh, how i found myself in a long distance relationship so guys do you know like when you're growing up you be like hey when i grow up i will never do this i'll never do that when i grow up this is what i want this is what i'm going to do and everything like you've got this long list of your do's your don'ts your wants your needs and everything that's how i was so basically i was i always had this mentality that long distance relationships they never work like they've never worked i'm not going to be in one that's just a scam like i used to say that long distance relationships are a scam up until life happened sure guys so this is what happened right um 2021 i got into this relationship with this amazing guy ne? so being in this relationship with this amazing guy i explained to the guy what's him guy at, at that time i was still studying in kenya right i was still studying in the in kenya oh uh, if you've watched or no if you've like watch that video on my experience being in kenya uganda and everything my varsity experience so at that time when i got into that into this relationship that i'm currently in i told the guy that more guy i mean i'm starting in kenya because this guy we met in south africa because i was because i was staying in south africa yes so i told the guy that more guy i mean i'm starting in kenya so basically when schools open because the guy he asked me out it was in march end of march so i explained to him that ah, more guy, I mean, I'm, I'm studying in kenya and of which when schools open like definitely i'm going back to school so how are we going to do this and then more guy was like okay fine i've never been in a long distance relationship i do not know how it works hopefully it's going to work out but let's just give it a try we'll figure things out as as as, as time goes by and then i was skeptical what mm, will this work will this not work i had my reasons of why i was skeptical because of my other previous relationship that i had i'll I'll do the story time another day. But I was really skeptical. What does like really, really work? Okay, fine. And the relationship started. How much started, guys? And along the Mujolo, Omo girl shifted from 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 Kenya to Europe. And then we're like, okay, this is the new plan. Uh, it's now Europe. Omo guy supported me. I was like, okay, fine. If that's what you want, it's okay. Let's do this. Ah, Omo girl did everything. I learned Dutch. I applied. I looked for families. I did everything. I did everything. And then 2022 April, I left for Austria. Fine. So leaving for Austria, I was not head. I was not ahead of leaving my boyfriend behind simply because I knew that we had a plan on our lives. Like literally, I knew that we had a plan and this is how we we're going to execute everything and this is how it was going to happen. But obviously, you get those comments on long distance relationships, they never work. He, a statistic says that a, if you are far away from your partner, chances are high that you're going to cheat, chances are high that the other person might cheat, chances are high that probably you end up losing interest. What happens on the days when you feel like cuddling the days when you feel like hiking in the day the days when you feel so low and you want him around like obviously like that is the status quo and those are the comments that you're basically going to get and not saying that those comments are wrong like those comments are true and then i still had to remind myself you know why you got into this relationship and you know what you want from this relationship and you know the future plans that you have Irregardless of the status quo, regardless of the statistics, regardless of what and what and what and what and what and what and what. So basically, ah, we carried on with them, Jolo guys. Uh, April was fine. May was fine. Like the first four months, everything was just fine. Like everything was fine. So obviously, I was expecting that probably after five months, I'll start seeing changes, difference. Like I'll start seeing the changes. Because probably the Mokai won't be talking to me as much, or probably like the interest will start losing. Like the, 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 there'll be a lot of there'll be loss of interest in either of the partners. Ah, guys, the year pushed up until it was like twenty twenty one December, and. So, Sparks were still flying. Momo guy like would literally be like probably in a day would be if like forever if if we are both free like in a day would probably be, be be on a call for almost two hours one hour and then I asked myself would see high ball 
but this is a long distance why doesn't it feel like one like to be honest even up to today i still don't yes i do feel the distance at times because i cannot like physically hold him or physically be with him but like to be honest everything is just flowing and everything is just going and like there is nothing different besides the days whereby whereby, whereby I miss him, like literally miss him and I want to be with him and I cannot be with him physically. But obviously in those days when I want to see him, I have to video call him. I've got like no other option. But besides that, everything has just been fine. Everything has just been normal. And the communication is actually growing stronger by the day. And these are the lessons that I learned from a long distance relationship is that number one, it teaches you how to trust the other person. Remember, I'm in Austria and my my guy like umuntuam as in south africa so basically i have to trust him Uguti, wherever that he is he is mature enough to make the right decisions not just for him but for us as a couple like that's the first thing that a long distance relationship teaches you it teaches you how to trust the other person like literally it teaches you how to trust the other person because I can't be up, guys. I can't be up at night thinking, Guti, what if my boyfriend is out with, with Miriam or he's out with Mary? No, I can't be doing that to myself. So basically, the first lesson that you learn from a long-distance relationship is trust. The second lesson that I've learned so far is communication. Yes, I haven't been bad with communication and probably like on a scale of 0 to 10, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a 6, but my guy, my guy is probably a 10 and a half, like literally he's a 10 and a half, not that I'm praising him or I'm giving him extra points, but that's how he is, so like even like basically guys, as much as we're in a long distance relationship, I know every detail about what's happening, you would literally swear that there's not even any distance, so that's the second lesson, long distance relationships, they teach you communication, like they teach you how to communicate, because you can't be in a long distance relationship and then you talk to your guy after three days, or after one week, like who are you fooling, my sister or my brother, who are you fooling, that will never work, so the second thing that long distance relationships teach it's communication the third thing that long distance relationship teach it's like you get to know the other person on a deeper level because remember right now you're just depending on technology and phones just to communicate so you basically learn how you basically learn the other person on a different 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 deeper deeper level that's the third lesson that i've learned so far and the other lesson that i've learned so far it's it's self-control you know like when you're physically with the person or probably when you're in the same town it's easy to say i miss this person i will see him today but when you're in a long distance relationship guys you'll miss the person and not see the person so basically it has taught me a it has told me like it's of control it has told me it was okay fine you love this person but you love this person right you want to be with this person but the time right now it's not it's not the right time you're going to be with him yes but not now so right now be be self-controlled that's the other lesson that i've learned from a long distance relationship but above all guys what i've learned from a long distance relationship is that you know what the status quo the statistics see the opinions will always be there but when you just have to know what's your plan because number one you can't tell me that you're going to long distance for 20 years that would ever work you can't tell me that you're going to long distance for 10 years like it can work but it's going to be difficult so at the end of the day you have to have a strategy it's okay fine if we're going to if if we're going to spend like six years apart without being together like literally being together then in those six years how many times are we going to see each other because you can't spend like six years i doubt it's possible yes of course my guy once told me like Kumunda once told me of a once told me a story of of his other of his other uncle that was separate like of his of his other uncle ne, that was um in a long distance marriage with the wife and then they spent like five years apart before seeing each other and then when they met after five years the husband went to South Africa and then the sixth year the wife relocated to where the husband was yes I think it takes a bit of maturity in that level we would say okay we're going to spend like straight five years without seeing each other. And in those five years without seeing each, each, eh, we're going to be faithful. Obviously, you have to be faithful because that's a commitment, right? We're going to be faithful. We're going to trust each other. We're going to communicate. And we just know, Woody, we just, those five years apart, it does not mean, Woody, we have broken up. But it is five years of building each other. I think that's the number one important, important, important lesson. Long distance relationship is about building, like building yourself. Know who you are on a deeper level. Know yourself. Because, okay, fine. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in a relationship. But right now, my person is not with me. 
and this moment i'm going to use this time to figure out the kind of person that i am it's basically being single but not being single but also being in a relationship if ever i'm saying it makes sense but yeah above all if ever there is that one person that you feel like dating and and that person a eh, is far away i give it a chance guys give it a chance if it if it fails it falls then it was never meant to be but if it works out then it has worked it has worked out then basically you're going to be you're going to be the ones that are, that are going to be motivating us it's possible let's do it it's doable if others did it drama can do it also but above all above all above all above all long distance relationships they just need you to be committed like just know what you want and have a plan basically and everything will work out hopefully you enjoyed my story story time my short story story time but above all guys this mentality of good yo of course i think it's okay like as late as that we have like i'm a standard Uguti. this is what i don't want this is what i want this is what and this is what and this is what but sometimes life gives you what you don't want <laughs> but you end up making it happen because you have made someone that you're able to make it happen with because if I were to tell my, if I were to tell the younger Tabaka, like the 16 year old Tabaka, you Tabaka, you be in a long distance relationship. Aha. That Tabaka would be like, Tabaka, you lying. Me in a long distance relationship, very long distance relationships are a scam. But look at me right now. Look at me right now. The 23 year old Tabaka is in a long distance relationship. So yeah, above all, it's just how you view things and how you view life. And don't forget to like, to subscribe, to comment. And above all, guys, comment, 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 comment. I want to hear your comments. Like, what do you think of? long distance relationships like if you are in a long distance relationship how do you make it work and if you have been in one like what happened what caused you guys to break up and everything and do not forget to like and do not forget to tell your uncle to tell your grandmother to tell your grandfather to tell your mother to tell your sister to tell your cousin to subscribe to my channel i'm out of here bye